It's time now for Table Talk as we welcome in John Drzemski and Keith Arizari. Guys, we know Pete Alonso is a home run threat in the Mets lineup, but Francisco Alvarez showed off his power again Thursday. So, JJ, could Alonso and Alvarez be the most important one-two punch in this lineup? So, I could see how you'd go in that direction, Chelsea, because, look, Pete Alonso is going to hit dingers, and Francisco Alvarez has a chance to be a catcher that provides pop at a position when normally a whole lot of teams don't get a lot of pop. But for me... No, because it's about what those two guys do at the top of the order. You go back two years ago when the Mets won 100 games, Brandon Nimmo and Starling Marte were in the middle of everything. I mean, Starling Marte was an all-star. Brandon Nimmo's getting on base 400%, you know, 40% of the time, give or take. I think the idea of the Mets finding that formula kind of leads to success throughout the rest of the lineup for the Alonzos and the Lindors and the Alvarezes and the McNeils. So to me, Keith... That one-two punch that was lacking last year because Morte wasn't the same guy, that to me is the biggest case. Yeah, and I'm not sure there needs to be a one-two punch, but I'll, I'll take it to the other side. I'll say, sure, maybe they will be the one-two punch because combined, I think they could hit 70, 75 home runs. And I don't believe that Alvarez is going to bat 209 again. I think he'll bat more like 240, 250. I don't believe that Pete Alonso is going to bat sub 220 again. I think he'll bat between 250 and 260. So if you put all those things together, you'll have two big boppers. And I think that Alvarez is also going to take a step behind the plate as a catcher as well. Yeah, just like you mentioned with Nimmo, JJ, he led the Mets last season with hits with 162.